Could a blockbuster trade for Jimmy Butler be coming? We're going to break that down on today's show as Ian Bagley of SNY on his show, The Putback, go check it out, said that Butler is a trade target to keep an eye on. So I want to hear from all the real ones before I give my thoughts and opinions. What do you think? Do you want Jimmy Butler on the Knicks? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Welcome into New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. Appreciate everybody for stopping by as we get you caught up with everything surrounding this basketball team. Ian Begley mentioned on his show that Butler is a player to keep your eye on as a New York Knicks trade target. But he also said he does not think he is a player that, ev that the Knicks will push all their chips in for. A lot of you that watch this show have asked me, Marshall, we, should we go out and get a trade for Jimmy Butler done? Will we go get Jimmy Butler? I'm not so sure. Let's go and take a look at what Begley said on the putback quote. Jimmy Butler, I think depending on how, how high Miami wants to go for him, for his extension, for his next deal, maybe he becomes available. Is he a Knicks target? Look, they have the draft capital get in, to get involved in any of these conversations. Butler, you keep an eye on. But I don't see him as being the guy the Knicks push all their chips in for as a final piece. I think the player has yet to emerge when talking about the guy the Knicks would push all their chips for. First and foremost, Jimmy Butler is a damn good basketball player. We all know that. What he's done for the Miami Heat, bringing them back to relevance in the NBA, should not be scoffed at. But I want to make it abundantly clear. I am not interested in trading for Jimmy Butler. And there are multiple reasons why. The first one being, I'm not giving up the draft capital and the salary to match a trade where I might have to give up Randall, I might have to give up Robinson, I might have to give up somebody else to trade for Jimmy Butler, a guy that's going to be 35 years old before the season kicks off. Father time is undefeated. It is going to start tugging on the jersey of Jimmy Butler more so than it already has. And I think he's already been caught up to it. Over the last seven seasons, Jimmy Butler averages just 59 games played for the Miami Heat. The New York Knicks have enough injury-prone players, enough injury problems that they got to deal with. Talking about Mitch, talking about Randall, and Ananobi. I don't want to have to worry about, is Jimmy playing tonight? Is he taking the night off? Is it load management? Does he want to play? Does he care about the regular season? I don't got the time for that. 35-year-old whose play has started to dip, and also the injuries are starting to stack up, did not play in the playoffs at all this year because he was injured. Played 60 games this year, 64 the year before, 57 the year before that, and 52 the year before that. Very worried about his availability going forward. He's a good player, no doubt about it. 21 points per game last year, giving you north of five assists per night, and we know that he's one of the most efficient scorers in the league shooting above 49% from the field and a career-high 41.4% from downtown. Jimmy is a really good player, but when you stack up the age and you stack up the fact that the games are starting to go down and the total number of games played, I don't think that's the best thing to trade salary of 40-plus million dollars and multiple first-round picks for Jimmy Butler. But I got three more reasons as to why I think Butler should not be a trade target for the Knicks. But first, I got to tell you all about our proud sponsor, Chubby's. Shout out to Chubby's. Summer is, right, or is here, and our friends at Chubby's are bringing the good vibrations. Chubby's is a lifestyle apparel brand that makes every moment feel like a vacation. They say fashion is an expression of one's character, so why not let the world know you're down for a good time? For a limited time, Knicks Now listeners, Chubby's is giving you 20% off your order with our exclusive code chat. Use code chat at chubbyshorts.com slash chat. 20% off with the promo code chat at chubbyshorts.com slash chat. Chubby's offers a variety of high-quality men's apparel from super stretchy shorts and swim trunks in three short inseam lengths to pants, polos, and button-down shirts for whenever you need to hit up your favorite weekend spot. I'm a guy that has always struggled to find the right pair of shorts for me, especially bathing suits. That was until I found out about Chubby's this summer. I'm going to be rocking it all summer long. I'll be wearing 
that American flag swimsuit on 4th of July. And you can get yours today by going to chubbyshorts.com slash chat and using that promo code chat for 20% off. Whether you're getting dressed for your work day, a workout, or a weekend getaway, Chubby's has you covered. For a limited time, Nick Snow viewers are getting 20% off your order with our code chat at chubbyshorts.com slash chat. That's code chat at chubbyshorts.com slash chat. Support our show and tell them we sent you. Don't blend in with the crowd. Stand out with Chubbies. That link and all that information will be down in the comments and description of today's show. Outside of the age and the injuries for Jimmy Butler starting to stack up, the thing that I actually worry about the most is, does he fit this team? Does he understand what his job would be on this team? Because I think that Jimmy Butler is a alpha. He is that type of person. And he is someone that wherever he has gone, it has become the Jimmy Butler show. Whether it was with Chicago once Derrick Rose left. Whether it was with the Timberwolves or with the Sixers. And then most notably with the Miami Heat. When you think of the Heat, you think of Jimmy Butler. And when you think of the Knicks, you think of Jalen Brunson. And I'm not so sure that Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, Julius Randle want to have Jimmy Butler come in and he act like the leader of this team. And Jimmy Butler, he already took some shots at the Knicks this year. Listen to what he has to say. He says, quote, if I, and this was back in the second round of the playoffs, says, if I was playing, the Celtics would be at home, and New York damn sure would be at home. Josh Hart? Come on, man. So he's already taken shots at Josh Hart, and this is Brunson's team. Like, will Jimmy get that? I don't want someone trying to come in take over the locker room, and say, I'm the face of the New York Knicks. One, you haven't earned that, and two, it's not your job or your place to be. But when you stack that on top of the fact of what he also said about Tom Thibodeau recently, where he said, I love Tibbs, but I don't want Tibbs. Tibbs, I love you, baby, but I want to beat you to a pulp. You want me. I don't want you. It's like a one-sided relationship. You're in love with me, and I love you, but I'm not in love with you. You know what I'm saying? So he doesn't respect Josh Hart. He doesn't want to play for Tom Thibodeau anymore. He wants to beat him to a pulp. I'm just not so sure that the New York Knicks, at this stage of Butler's career, are the, are the right landing spot for him. And then on top of that, the guy wants to be paid $50 million per season. And for a guy that's 35, plays 59 games a season, you don't know about the culture fit, I am not going to give Jimmy Butler the max contract extension that he is looking for, which would cost $113 million over two seasons. We're going to pay a 37-year-old Jimmy Butler $60 million per season, and that's why I'm out on that. You look at the contract that he's got right now. He's making $48 million this year, and then next year is when he has that player option of $52.4 million. So you're telling me the Knicks got to pay him $48 million this year, 52 next year, and then an additional $113 million in the season of 2026 and the season of 2027 when he's 38 years old? Nah, I'm not interested in that. But the main reason I do not want to trade for Jimmy Butler is I want to beat Jimmy Butler. I want to make that dude look like a fool. I want to send him to Cancun, and I want to beat the shit out of the Miami Heat and Jimmy Butler. I need my lick back. I need my lick back from what happened last year in the second round of the playoffs where the Heat got lucky because, once again, the New York Knicks were plagued by injuries. I need my lick back. I don't, I'm not in the camp of can't beat them, join them, or have them join us. No, if you can't beat them, try again, and then go and beat them. That's what I want to happen. I hate the Heat. I hate Jimmy Butler, and he does not deserve to play for the best franchise in sports the New York Knicks. Overall, Jimmy Butler is still a great player. There is no doubt about that. But he's on the back nine of his career, and a trade is just way too tricky, and there's way too many reasons as to why the Knicks should not pull the trigger. The age, the injury, the play's declining. He doesn't like Tom Thibodeau anymore. He has a problem with Josh Hart calling him out, and I do not want to pay him $155 million over the next three seasons. We give it up Randall for Jimmy Butler? No. Am I giving up multiple first-round picks for Butler? No. That's why I'm typing my N for no in the comment section. But I want to hear from you one more time. I asked you at the top of the show. We went through my reasons. Maybe I've changed your mind, or maybe you want to double down. So let me know. Do you want Butler on the Knicks? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. As always, 
Major shout out to everybody that makes the Knicks now a part of their day. Y'all are the real ones. If you haven't yet, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at MarshallGreen underscore. I'll give you a follow back and let's go Knicks. Thank you.